The first dress I ever made was I laid out a piece of red fabric, laid on top of it, and my sister sketched me with chalk. I made it, and it was the cutest red dress ever. Hi, this is Angela Wolf, fashion designer and online instructor. And we are still focusing on the classics with the little black dress. And in this lesson, I want to focus a little more on the collars, but we're going to add to the collar. Instead of adding lining or facing, we're going to add a collar. Like this dress right here, very simple. It's just a simple pattern, and this is just a wide collar, just attached to the top. How about this dress? Same wide collar, except twisted. This one is even lined. But what I'm going to show you how to do is to add bias tape, which is a smaller version of both of these. So just like those collars I showed you, here's an adding as well, and this is bias tape. And it's attached to the neckline and the armholes. This is very easy to do. First, cut a strip of bias tape. Remember your grain lines go this way? Bias is right on a 45 degree angle. And here you go. It stretches just a little bit. And in order to make this a full circle, like I did here, you cannot just take your bias tape like this and stitch. You cannot do that, because it won't work. So you actually put it on an angle and stitch, and it folds open. That's the proper way to make a circle. So for your neckline, if you have a zipper, you don't have to worry about the circle. But I'm going to show you a circle to just add a little bit more in case that's the type of dress you're using. So here I have just a little mini dress so I can finish this for you and show you exactly what needs to be done. So I've measured around the neckline, and then I've measured the exact same in the bias tape, minus about a fourth of an inch, because I want this to be just a little bit tighter, because this stretches more. The other thing is, notice on your neckline how it stretches. That's because this is on the bias. That stretches. The bias tape will keep that secure, so you don't even have to worry about stay, stay stitching or anything like that. So first, you just take your garment, and with right sides together, right sides on both of these, start at the back. This seam, once it's folded, it just has a little angle, so just put that in the back. Another area that some people like to do it is like under their shoulder if they have long hair, something like that. But I always just put it in the center back. You're just going to pin all the way around. You just hold this up. See how it's just kind of just like this. And if you start at one end and go to the other, then just make sure that any of the fabric that you are easing, I know every once in a while, if I really want to keep that neckline secure, I might even make the bias tape a half of an inch shorter. Just test it on your fabrics and see what you like. So we have just a little bit of fabric to ease in there. So because we have to ease the fabric and not the bias tape, you're going to stitch with the fabric side down on the sewing machine and allow the feed dogs to gather that. OK, here we go. So I'm going to just slide this under. I'm using pink thread this time, just so you can see what's going on. Again, because this is a circle, we're all attached. If you had a zipper, you would start at one end and just go to the other. Let's see, for this one, just less than half of an inch. Again, your bias binding can be any width you want. And one more thing here, I'm attaching this to the fabric. If this dress was lined, I could line all the way up to the top and attach the lining, so I'd be stitching this right to the fashion fabric and to the lining. Just a side note there. And just stitch. All the way around. When you get to your shoulder seams, make sure that if they're pressed open or pressed to the back, that they're facing the right way when you stitch over it. Go all the way around. This is a great trim for armholes if you have a tank top. Like the dresses behind me, if they were, if it was the same cut bias tape like this, you would just cut it like six inches wide, 14 inches wide. You don't need a pattern for that, just measure. Okay, we're almost back to the front. Make sure that there isn't a ton of fabric there or it's gonna look, not look good, so. Here we go, get rid of that thread there. 
Let's see what we have. Here we go. <laughs> That's adorable, isn't it? Okay, so you have a few options here. You could fold this to the back and attach the bias binding that way. But I want the bias binding, similar to my blue dress, to be part of the decoration. So I would take this, remember this is the right side of my fabric, fold this over and fold this over, just like this. So I'm gonna go press this, and then all you have to do is stitch that. So we're gonna press over here from the wrong side of the garment. That's kind of the easiest way to do this. Okay, here you go. And press this and just tuck under. Again, your bias tape can be any width that you want. Now the, the tops behind me that I showed you, the dresses behind me, those were, I think one was 14 inches wide. So you wouldn't wrap it like that. You would just actually take, what you would do is take this to here and stitch like that without wrapping it. Okay, just so you know for if you wanna do the dress like that. So you're gonna press this all the way around. I'm just gonna do a little section here because I think you're getting the idea. So here's the wrong side of the garment. You're enclosing that stitch line. And from the right side of the garment, we have a nice casing here. So let's go back. Again, I didn't press the whole thing. I just wanna show you how to do this. Now with a fine fabric, especially like silk, instead of stitching in the ditch, which is right next to here, you're gonna stitch right on the bias tape. The fabric's too fragile, so this will hold it together. Stitch right next to it. Just like that. So let's just take a look here. That's a little crooked. I would definitely change that and make that perfectly straight, but I just want to give you the idea how to do this. So that's wrapped. It's enclosed that seam perfectly. Now again, like the top behind me, I would take this bias and just attach it like this. I'm just gonna stitch this for a second so you can see what it looks like. So you have to imagine the collar behind me would be 14 inches wide and then flipped over. And so then you end up with that. So you end up with a seam on the inside. So those are two additional ways you can change the neckline on your dress. Any pattern, it doesn't matter. All you have to do is cut it off and add this trim. This is great for sportswear. It's great on knits. Very easy to do.